creepy welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you guys how to paint this lady sitting on her luggage smoking a cigarette and it's going to be in black and white so i really enjoy doing these black and white paintings from time to time and it's also a great exercise in between your colorful paintings so if you want to add color later on you definitely can it's so easy and i've got a few tutorials showing you how to glaze over and add color to a dried black and white painting so I'm going to be going over the canvas now. I'm working on an 11 by 14 stretched double primed canvas. You can use a larger canvas or smaller if you like. And I've got titanium white and some Mars black here that I'm going to be using. What I want to do is start with a larger brush and I'm going to be using a large, large-ish <laughs> flat brush. This one is at number 12. So I'm going to be getting my brush a little bit wet. I'm going to wet the canvas. This is going to help me be able to spread and blend all that paint around a lot easier than if I was just adding my paint to a dry canvas. Okay, so I'm going to start with a little bit of gray and I'm just going to take my black, my white, mix the two. You can make a lighter or darker shade of gray if you want by using a little more white or a little more black. Okay, I'm going to start right from here and I'm going to just start to slope down slightly. So it's more of a diagonal line and I'm starting it about a third of the way up the canvas and dropping it down to a quarter of the way up the canvas. I'm going to pull back and forth, nice long sweeping strokes. I'm going to add some more black now with a little bit of water. And I'm going to start adding the black right about here. And I've got a little drip there, that's okay. Start working this up on an angle. So we've got some dramatic lines in this painting. Just for the dry brush, I'm just gonna clean off that drip there. Clean up the edge here just a little bit. There we go. Take some more black. And then I'm adding the lines on an angle like this because it's really going to enhance the perspective and make it a lot more dramatic. I'm going to dry this off really quickly and then come in with the next up. Okay, so now I'm going to go back and add a little bit more gray right in here, right underneath the black line. And then I'm going to take a little bit of white. Now this white will show up on the white canvas because this is a cool white against a warm white. And you'll see what I mean as I add this. And when it dries, you'll be able to, to see the difference. So we've got some warm and cool gray tones in this painting. I'm going to just lift this bar up so I can get the top of the canvas. And I'm going to use some more black along with that gray. A little bit of water.
add a little bit more black down to the base here. And just a little bit here along the edge. continue right here because I want to make sure that the smoke from our cigarette shows up so we need to make sure that we've got a dark background and you can decide how dark you want it if you want it to be black you can go ahead and add black or just a dark gray and that's what I'm going to do You might notice that it's kind of like a little scoop in here. I'm just doing that because I thought that would look a little bit more interesting rather than straight diagonal or just all diagonal lines. I think that might look a little bit more interesting. And then I'm just going to gently go over. I'm placing my brush halfway with the dark, dark gray halfway on my black and halfway on the gray. Just to make it slightly darker back there. dry this all off again and then I'll start coming in with her figure and the piece of luggage. Okay so now that it's all dry I can start coming in with her suitcase and I'm going to be using a filbert brush for that. I've got a number eight filbert brush here. I'm going to get it a little bit wet first and I'm going to take some black and I'm going to start it right about here. I'm going to go down right down to the bottom of the canvas. Cut across. Paint it in, take a little bit more water whenever you need to to help spread that paint and blend. Make it a little bit wider. And we've got a zipper in there, right? There's a little line there, so I'm just going to leave that. I'm going to come inside here. Add more black. And slightly round this out. Making this just a little bit wider. And then from here, I'm going to add a shadow. little watered down black and then make sure we go over the suitcase with solid black. Okay now I'm going to with a clean brush take some white. 
I'm going to go across the top. This way. And then a little across the side there. And then down. And then start kind of on the edge there with your brush. Twist slightly, curve over. And we'll let that little zipper. Okay, so the next step is adding her bottom sitting here. So we're going to scoop around down like this. Scoop. We'll add a couple of white lines and a little bit of an outline here. Line, line. You can add a little bit more black right there though. A black line that curves down like this. More black. It's pretty solid right in here. Pull out. Cross, down, and a V. Just a scarf or, I don't know, a piece of fabric, clothing. Take a little bit of white. Just add a little bit in here, a line, a little bit here, a little bit here, and a little bit there. Curve. A little bit more white. Gently pull and curve. It's all about breaking it down into simple basic shapes, strokes, and little dabs for blocking in all the shapes and the shadows for her dress and her legs and arms. So this is the highlight from the bottom of her calf or her, her knee down. And then black in here. We're gonna, gonna go over part of that white. So then we make like a light gray mid-tone. And then go up right there. Scoop. Bring that down and turn over. So a straight diagonal curve where her foot comes down into her shoe. And then just go across the bottom.
We'll work on the other leg. It's going this way. And then it goes down on a little angle right here. Angle and then out. Pointy. Heel. And what I like about painting figures and portraits is that we do it, we express it in our own style and way. So this is the way it's coming out, the way I express it, and it doesn't have to be perfect, but it's sure interesting to see how we paint different things and just kind of put our own creative uh, spin on things. Okay, we'll take a little bit more white. Bring that out a little bit wider. So the back of her heel there, that shoe needs to come out farther. I'm going to bring this out, a little ball for the heel. Bring the shoe down lower. She's got stilettos on. And a little pointy triangle down here. Same with here. And some shadows and you just keep going don't worry if it's not looking how you want it to look at this point it's mid process that always gets us people always end up giving up and throwing out their paintings midway trust me you gotta keep going with it even if you think you know this isn't working I'm probably going to throw this out as long as you keep going and you don't give up. It's interesting to see where it'll lead. You just might surprise yourself and, and like your painting. So I'm going to start working on our elbow here that's resting. Elbow here. And then her hand up here. Take a little bit of white. Go around curve. back into my black. We're going to come down here. She's leaning over. And I think her other elbow on the other side is right about there. Pulling. 
gently back and forth, just kind of side to side and kind of on an angle. Then we're going to slide into our white here without washing your brush. And add the highlights on our back. Add some white around her head here, her hair, forehead, nose, and the smoke. Some more black now to come inside here. Neck. I'm not gonna see her features, right? white to make some gray here. We'll have her hair hanging down here. little bit of white where maybe we'll have a little bit of light. little bit of black here for her eye and then I'll bring the nose out a little bit more clean brush with a bit of white on it again Whenever I lose that shape, I just kind of gently wiggle it to fan it out again. There's her nose. Just I'm wiggling, wiggling and twisting my brush around with a white kind of layering in here to make it look like smoke and then very softly 
going around the edge and softening that. And then her cigarette. There's a little bit of smoke coming out from that. We'll add a little bit of black. Looks like she's holding it in her fingers here. And then a finger over top. A little light on the tip. Okay. I'm add a little bit of that white inside here again. Highlight some more of her hair. Over this with black, accidentally added white there. She's resting her arms on maybe like a little briefcase or something here. And I'm going to take my black just on the tip of my brush like this. I'm going to weave in here for some more shadows. Make her leg a little thicker. I'm going to come in the center here of our hand and add a little dab of black, black, black. And inside her suitcase again, more black. And a few more little shadows.
okay with a clean brush. I'm gonna add some more highlights to her back. Just some folds in her jacket. Be a little bit more generous here across her back. Whoops. If you happen to pick up a little bit of the black, just go right over it or dry it off if you want. Remember to leave a few little black lines in between. So we're working on folds and gathering of material. And right in here, I'm gonna go over with my black. and dab 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 so that it goes white to gray then to black so we get that gradation get some gray tones in there I'm going to bring her shoe up just a little bit here. Not a few little along here. Maybe she's got another little suitcase here that she's just resting her arm on. Clean brush, dry with more white. Another highlight. I'm going to change these shadows a little bit. I'm going to make the shadow of her heel black come out diagonally like this. And I'm going to make her heels a little thinner, more stiletto-like, so I'm going to go over with black. Or with white, I mean. I'm going over top of the black with white. Sorry, guys. And I'm going to add another highlight here, push, and then let it off, let off on that pressure. And back over 
here, a little bit more white. Open her hand up just a little here. Bring that finger over top. All I'm doing is just adding little dabs. You don't need to try too hard. To work on these shadows just a little bit in here. I'm going to take some of them off. And just sort of clean up this area here. Back in with my black. Round out our foot that comes down. Okay, so I'm just going to clean up the last areas here that I need to, a little bit more white, and I'm just going to add it right across there, and a little bit more across her back, dab, 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 dab. And on her hair. This has been a lot of fun to paint. There's a request from one of my patrons. Alex, thanks for requesting this. I hope you like it and 
Hope you guys want to paint along. If you have any questions at all, just let me know and I'll answer you back as quickly as I can. I'm pretty busy these days working on my channel and teaching my grandson how to paint, but I've got a lot of really special tutorials coming up. Just one more little bit of shadow. That gray. Bring that shadow up just a little bit higher. straight black for the suitcase. And then just a little bit of black on the other side of the suitcase there that we can see. Just a very little amount. So I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today. This was a lot of fun. Glad I got to share it with you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Leave a comment or question below and have a wonderful day. Try to stay positive and creative out there and motivated. Take it one step at a time and you can definitely learn to paint. You've got this, you guys. Bye. See you next time.